Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Oh, oh fucking do do shit. do do! I'm a goddamn newscaster today. I just, but you know what? We we definitely need to do something about this. We need we need the earpieces. If we're gonna be newscasters, we need the earpieces. I think so. Yeah, we would. I would feel more newsy. You know? I, I, Does that I, make I sense? I feel like you would, uh, yeah. Jared. I, I'm also gonna commend you on wearing your own hat today. Thank yeah. you. Make you know? Jared drink yeah, again. You know, Ever what... since you started drinking again, you've been a better person. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think you're right. Usually, you can't say that about a lot of people. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I mean, didn't like the non-drinking Jared. I didn't like the fact that he was getting regular haircuts or buying normal clothes. Yep. It, all, it pissed me off. Yeah. Then, yeah. Like, I don't ever yeah. want to see that again. No. Okay, no, no, you got no. it. You we got never it. want to see that again. Take back your uh, life. You know, take back your life. Uh, like I called Matt uh, when I got into a lovely lady's vehicle last night when she picked me up from the airport. Yeah. There was a Hoyt compound bow and a motocross helmet. So I was like, I think I'm in the right place now. Okay. You know? Welcome. I'm in the right place. Yeah, welcome to Wilmington, <laughs> North Carolina, brother. <laughs> we got a special uh, guest on the fake news show. We yes, do. We do. Who do we, who do, we got, D'Anthony? We have Mike the Cop. Mike. What kind of that was oh, a weak that ass? Was it's really no. awful. Ladies uh, and gentlemen, we have Mike the motherfucking cop of yeah. all times. Uh, yeah. He is the cop. Dang. The cop. That's a lot of stuff you said. Of the mic. My, Michael the police officer, how are you? It's intense. I'm good. I miss you guys. I yeah. It's been a while. I know. I was watching a bunch of your shit the other day, and I was like, God damn it. Why don't we hang out more? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that one video that we shot was perfect, and it took us 10 minutes. It's like, we need to do that more often. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. Where do you live at, Mike? Detroit. Detroit, Motor Ooh. City. Oh, man. I heard property's cheap there, you know, like in the city. Yeah, it's really yeah. cheap. Yeah, you could buy like a block. Do you ever head, head on over? get it. Yeah, I was going to say, do you ever head on over to Flint for some water? That's really cheap there, too. Yes. No, that's the discount. I go up there and just put it in a bottle and bring it back. <laughs> how, how is it working in Detroit and living there, uh, in all honesty? Are they, are they on the come up like the media is saying, or is that all fucking bullshit? Yeah, no, it's, it's legit. Um, it's definitely like when I grew up here, man, it was like learning how to drive. They put a bat in, in my car and said, don't stop at stop signs. That was like how I learned to drive around here. And now it's like <laughs> my, my, wow. kids, my kids can go down to like if they were like, yeah, hey, we're going to go downtown and get something to eat or we're going to go wherever. Like, yeah, OK, cool. So there's there's it's definitely a way different place now than than when I was growing up. So it's nuts. It's better. It's you know, got its spots. Cool. It's you, you know what I think you need as a collector's item, whether on this set or in, in the beach house or something like that? Yeah. You need a mason jar of water from Flint, Michigan, and you need some sort of, of, of rubble or something from Chernobyl. Oh, and God, you just I'd have love it. yeah. That would be a cool little fucking like. I'd <laughs> love it. Would that still be radioactive? Oh uh, yeah, why not? You know, and then we can, so then we can, corner of the house has a little radiation. Then we can find out who cuts uh, Casey Anthony's hair and get a little bit of her hair in a bag. Yeah. <laughs> why not? <laughs> what do you think? Why not? Who is that shark that just killed that boogie boarder up in Cape Cod? Let's get a tooth from that fucker too. It's really put shark that up teeth on the are hard to get though. I know they are. Yeah, so. they are. Yeah, they I know are. They are. Oh, uh, there was a shark attack recently, huh? Yeah, there's yeah, been a couple. That's nothing yeah. that you hear about a lot. Like. Cape, so Cape Cod right now is going through it all the way around, where they're actually telling people, hey, man, there's sharks out today. Swim at your own risk. And they're flying drones over the water, yeah. so they're trying to warn people in advance. And in some cases, they're just shutting down the beaches. So they've had a lot of great whites up there. The thing is, it's because like, the water is getting warmer I've here. never yeah. been attacked by an alligator or a crocodile. Yes. I generally stay away from places that have alligators and crocodiles. Mm. Therefore, I'm pretty good. Did you see the alligator that jumped the fence yesterday? Because everybody's that was pretty rad. Yeah, everybody's like talking about that news story. I like that. Yeah. Hopefully uh, he goes back and teaches his friends. Look, I mean, alligators have been traveling north for the last, what, 20 years? Like, yeah. There's a, there a small one in the fucking pond in your neighborhood. Uh, yeah. And it like, got displaced oh, from uh, the, the yeah. hurricane. My, yeah. Mike, did you know that there was a hurricane in Australia that displaced a ton of sharks into lakes and they adapted and there's freshwater sharks in lakes in Australia. Yeah. Like Shut Australia up. is just an all around your fucked country. Oh yeah. <laughs> Everywhere you go. You know, you'd be like running through the desert in Australia, like completely parched and you come upon a lake and think you're saved. You dive in to drink all your water and you get fucking. But I mean, imagine that it's like, Hey, mm. Hey, you want to take the boat out on the lake? Like, no. There's fucking sharks in this fucking lake. Can you yeah. imagine a shark? Fuck. Can you imagine a shark with pit bull legs? Oh, that would ah, suck. Oh, boy, that'd be tough. That'd be, that'd be really... That was a... That's what I see when I'm on, like, too much 
Wasn't that mushrooms? A yeah. Is just like a fucking pit bull coming at me like this, just racing, and it's a shark head. I'm like, God, fuck that was it. A, I'm, you can't even run from Natalie that. Portman movie. Remember the fucking? Uh, it was recent. What? Oh, uh, Natalie Portman. Yeah, Shark Girl. No, not that. The one, <laughs> the one about the the alien fucking bubble that she goes oh, yeah, into, yeah, yeah. and there's yeah. that creepy bear thing that yeah. comes in, and then there's a big alligator. I well, you've been it. trying to get a service bear for a while now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but there's a lot of different rules about it, and it's hard to domesticate a bear. And, and you can't get them on planes. You can't get them declawed either, so that's no. like a thing. Um, what do they wear, like oven mitts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, like, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lockable mitt. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's more like baseball mitts. It's catcher's mitts. And the registration oh, wow. process for those is really yeah, intense. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. Waiting yeah. period. Not what, long. It, yeah. Dude, uh, I'm telling you. Not what you're hoping Going through the be. service bear, bear process is worse than going to the California DMV. Yeah. It really is. It's yeah. probably easier to get a bear in California than a gun, though. Probably. It's true. It's probably. Speaking probably. of guns, yeah. uh, first topic is Hong Kong. It's all fucked right now. Oh. Hong Kong be fucked. The Konger, dude. Oh, yeah. you know what? We just said that. If we lived in Hong Kong, we would be arrested. Uh, just for existing, yeah. For yeah. saying Hong Kong is fucked. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. We would be arrested. Don't, yeah, you, so get, don't you get cane there as well? Oh, they, they uh, have Singapore. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's so. like uh, the Chinese government is amassing on the border right now. It's all it's a fucking shit show. And there, meanwhile, the fucking pro democracy people are walking through the streets with an American flag singing our anthem because we're a symbol mm. of freedom. I don't know if you remember that. Uh, Dan Crenshaw actually posted that video yeah. um, of, of them singing the American anthem, mm. yeah. which really probably went over really well in China. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, here's what I recommend. If you, uh, if you are against the Second Amendment, just go over to Hong Kong for a while. Hang out, see how that goes for you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it, kind of funny. Like, uh, we don't have people doing that here, yet the countries that are hurt the most by this, they're singing our anthem and holding our flag. Meanwhile, Strange. our spoiled-ass fucking bitches here that are fucking whining about dumb shit are burning our flags exactly telling us that the anthem and the pleasant pledge of allegiance is racist i've got a five o'clock shadow and i'm wearing uh men's clothing and people are calling me a man and i'm upset about that because <laughs> i identify as a woman like get the fuck it. that's your fucking big problem yeah also that uh, that beard is, is your five o'clock shadow a lot is, of people yeah. don't know that I you shave, shave in the morning day, and yeah. then by the time we do the show Mike, you're, you're up yeah. and at him did you uh <laughs> did you happen to catch any of the video from the democratic socialist convention oh man oh dude where the uh the uh, people were coming to the microphone talking about personal privilege. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. yes. I, Point I of personal like privilege. Eight, right. oh, yes. Man. Like eight minute video. And like they were all to see betas impl argue imploding on themselves. Yes. Yeah. It, was in, it was insane. Their, their own rules didn't work for themselves. It's literally. <laughs> it's literally. Like this guy got up and said, I know I shouldn't be speaking because I'm a white male. Yeah. He, apo he apologized but for I'm being white. I'm going to speak. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's literally the reason we have a representative democracy in our republic, is because 330 million people can't all take a turn at the mic. It's true. So it's just true. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, look, we're barely able to get five on here, let alone those fucking assholes. Yeah, uh, Mike, let me ask you this: you ever you ever worked a riot like this, like in Hong Kong? With, what's what's going on over here? No, the closest I've ever come was like a Trump protest at the airport here. That was about it. And that, that oh, didn't get crazy out of hand. What the, <laughs> what's the Trump protest? Trump. Oh, no, Trump. 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 Yeah, okay, back, cool. Uh, the election. So yeah, there was no. A whole bunch I, of people protesting then. But that, that's as close as I've come to a riot situation. I didn't, Definitely nothing like Hong Kong. I didn't know if they hated elephants up there when they were protesting trunks as well. Because that's next. <laughs> the back of the car. It's yeah. Motor City. So yeah. they're more about the front sure of the car than the motor is. I'm about it somewhere. Uh, so at, at this Trump protest, what, what's what, what's that like for you? Explain that as a cop, because the next story we're going to go into after this is uh, about that NYPD officer. Yeah. So what, what's it like at a Trump protest? It's me in my car driving around hoping that someone doesn't act a fool so I don't have to punch somebody in the face. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> people think cops are driving around like like with invisible lat syndrome all puffed up like I'm waiting for something to happen. No, they don't want to do any paperwork. Yeah. Yeah. They don't, don't yeah, want to get involved. Just shut the fuck up and go about your life and stop being stop an being asshole. Stop being douchebag. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah. Man. In fact, when I got ordered for that, I was ordered to go over. I was sent over and I was supposed to get off at like 7 p.m. And I'll be over there till like nine at night and I'm just pissed that i'm not at home yeah is where i like i just want to get get there get it over with and get out yeah no nah, that that sucks man and uh you know look michigan finally flipped for trump um in that last election so really i'm matt yeah yeah so yeah. imagine if he gets reelected. holy fuck mike good luck with that one the day after <laughs> yeah yeah exactly well what's what's like uh 
what what's going on with some of these crazy fucking congresswomen? Are they are they just losing losing support from their from their districts because they're just so fucking out there right so, now? Uh, so I, some of them are, think, some of them aren't. Yeah, uh, here's the you problem. Know, Tlaib, Tlaib's from here. Yeah, she's yeah. from here. So yeah, that's what I'm asking. What's, what, what's like the her? response up there? Yeah, for her. I mean, they're they all play to their particular base. So if you ask, you know, if you ask the typical. Uh, ignorant person that <laughs> supports her for for no other reason than her fucking name if, if that's the that's the extent of their knowledge of her then of course then she's she's amazing but i mean most people around here are, aren't idiots it's just that there's a massive number of idiots concentrated in these bigger voting areas like detroit yeah and one of the problems is, is that uh they're not raising money in their own district they're getting funded by Packs from yeah, all over the country. Didn't yeah. they? Didn't they come out with uh, the financials of uh, AOC? Yeah, and AOC she raised like, like thirteen hundred dollars from her yeah, own it's district. Like, it's like something like ninety-two percent of her funds come from outside of her district. Yeah. Do you guys buy into that whole thing where she's an actress that was like basically hired to play the part and like, I mean, she legitimately got elected, but that she was never a politician. She literally tried out as an actor. And yeah, got I mean, I could see that. I, yeah, I hope that's true. I mean, if otherwise, you look at everything that she does and says, if somebody somebody could have scripted that and yeah. and and said, I just want to control a portion of the media with someone, mm -hmm. right? And I mean, it's a good plan. It would certainly you know explain I mean? that picture of her at the border, yeah, leaning up against the fence, crying <laughs> and looking yeah, into right? an empty parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> like you zoom out from the fucking picture and it's just an, but an empty. What like blows laundry. my mind about this whole thing is, is let's take that, that piece as an example is she releases a photo of her at a fence crying. She releases two to four tweets about the El Paso border patrol stations and things that she visited were atrocious and they didn't have anything. You know, they weren't helping. They were the, the conditions were awful, blah, 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 blah. Literally a week later, they release the full photo and show that she was staging a photo looking into a parking lot. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a number of representatives went down to tour this facility that she claimed to have been at and said none of this. They took video. Yeah. They said, they said, OK, she did tweets that said this place does X, Y and Z. Those guys go and take video less than seven days later and show that she was absolutely lying. Where is yeah. where is the outcry of. Hey, that person shouldn't should no longer be a representative anymore. If you're going to manipulate people like that on purpose and we catch you, that's just a fucking yank out of office. Hey, Here, here's re election the, now. Like you're done, you're manipulating. Yeah. Boom. The problem is is they, they have to go up for re election every two years anyways. So there's usually not time to put something like that together. But by yeah, but the that time, should be just an immediate like you get caught doing some shit like that. Yeah. That's a manipulation of the public it is, because yeah. like he's saying, there's a lot of fucking stupid people out there. I well, mean, yeah, there's a lot yeah. of dumb people a that couple, just yeah. that that will base all of their opinions and everything off of headlines, let alone not reading an article, not looking at the source of an article. They make their opinions based on headlines. I mean, how many how many fucking people have you heard? I've even had a friend tell me Trump puts fucking kids in cages. Yeah. What? Yeah. The fuck are you talking about? Yeah, all about? those facilities so for uh, for juveniles down in the south, by the way, were built under the Obama administration. Like, so, I know. Yeah, and I and know. a lot of those photos were from 2011 yeah. through 13. And it's like, yeah. hey, man, this has been going on for a long time. Yeah. You guys are just catching up with it now because you need a story today. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm with you on, on somebody, you know, possibly being cast like that. Like, you look at Beto, right? Yeah. Picture perfect. That's who the Democratic Party really wants to win physically. Like he looks the part of, of who yeah. they want. Yeah. As soon as he opens his mouth, <laughs> it's he like, is uh, fucked. Uh, yes. <laughs> if you could put so his body uh, and somebody when else's they, brain. When do inside. they shave the shave the September? No so next, yeah. yeah. So yeah. next month they're, they're going to shave it down to ten. They're doing poor right Wait, now. Right? But the shocking well one now. is this: that Marianne Williamson. It looks like she's going to make the cuts. That crazy author. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, Oprah has endorsed her, and so is Kim Kardashian. So she's gaining steam and was actually campaigning in Columbus, Ohio yesterday. Um, so somebody's financing her to go on her fuck tour of crazy about, you know, what we need is chakras and spiritual people to come Look, forward. She's, and come, she's coming out with a new oil. Yes. And you rub it on you and democracy happens. Yeah. 
It's 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 called de- <laughs> democracy by Marianne. Dif- diffu- diffuses <laughs> democracy throughout your home. Oh man. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I don't know why we don't with with social media now to where to where beforehand, you know, 20 years ago, you had to at least be selected to go on the news and speak or or somebody was right. QCing something. Mm-hmm. With social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, everything. Everybody has instant access with no filter. If you're a public representative and you are caught manipulating the public, that should be an immediate impeachment of your position. Like that day, you are done. Agreed. And, but and we need to fucking put something in place for that. It's, it's only going to keep happening because Dan and I have talked about this in the past. Photoshopping has become extremely easy for everyone. Everyone. Yeah, everyone. like that picture of Trump and uh, his daughter with fucking Epstein in the foreground. It was not real at all. Everybody's been posting that all over the place. That's not real. It's not real. Uh, that was a, that was a picture from the eighties. That's a picture of, of Trump Ep- and his daughter, yeah, and then a, they photoshopped an Epstein, an Epstein picture from like four years ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like the pic, the two pictures like twenty years apart. Yeah, Jesus. But Christ. again, if the right people load it, it gains too much steam, and and there's no there's it's no Manda- consequences. It's a Mandela effect. Yeah, yeah. there's yeah. no consequences for a redaction anymore. No, like, no. we're not even requiring it. No, like, the problem CNN is CNN can fucking run the picture. Yeah. Oh yeah, and. And nothing is going to be done. Even no. back in the day, they would run the picture and then they would print the retraction on like page 90. Yeah. Now they don't even bother with a retraction. They're like, oh, whatever. The, the, the news yeah. cycle is so fast. That yeah. Where are you going to put the retraction at? Yeah. On Twitter? Well, speaking of getting impeached, uh, the, uh, the PBA, the professional the, uh, union for the NYPD, mm-hmm. uh, their president has called for a vote of no confidence in both Mayor de Blasio and the commissioner of uh, the NYPD based on uh, the cop from the Garner case getting fired. Yeah. So that's why you're here today, Mike. Mike, uh, yeah, that'll, yeah, that'll what, go nowhere. What, what, what's, what's your thoughts on this? Because, uh, again, you're obviously a police officer. Uh, you had a huge following. What are your thoughts on this? I, I literally, I've been having a lot of conversations about this with people, and I, it, it's, it's becoming so asinine to have these conversations where someone is saying the sky is blue when it's fucking purple. And it's like, um, you look at the situation objectively, every single piece of that situation objectively is not that officer's fault, you know, that this guy died. And yet five years later, here he is getting recommended for termination and they could have not terminated, him, but they did after, you know, the commissioner has these sort of like, backdoor meetings with de blasio mm-hmm. and they they literally stripped that dude of his fucking pension man like everything is gone like they they literally ruined his life um five years later they just uh, they toss it aside for political expediency i mean that's my basic take yeah <laughs> it's well, terrible. So I, you my, say- my, my first thought is this where does he go now to get a job being this publicly outed yeah. in such a like a, a case like this yeah that is you know created a shit storm across the nfl i mean everything where does this poor guy go to get a job after this? <laughs> That's a great question. I mean, like, I mean, there's definitely like sheriffs out there or, yeah. or police chiefs out there who would be like, you're welcome at my place. You come, you know, come do the job here where they have, where they have less, yeah, where you have an elected less sh- political sheriff. push, yeah, you yeah. know? But, uh, I mean, but would you want to, if you're that guy, you yeah, know, who knows? <laughs> no. but I, I, I've had a ton of, uh, NYPD cops reaching out, like, you know, there there's memes everywhere like the job is dead and it's and it's exactly it. Like basically, why do I want to do anything? Because if I if I do follow the policy, even if I do everything that I possibly can to do my job that you're paying me to do, you could still just go, ah, we're going to fire you. Yeah, yeah. because <laughs> because a celebrity or a government ill informed official posts a tweet or a fucking opinion about a matter right. that they didn't look into at all. And that's it. And, and that's the thing is, is fucking the mayor is spineless. The commissioner is spineless because now anytime anything gets any sort of public scrutiny, they immediately just fire people and just steamroll. Anybody, if anybody breaks the law and is then subsequently dies after they broke the law, the precedent is, well, we fire the officers. I mean, like what, what other option do you have? Everybody's going to be pushing for that. That's on that sort of like, a uh, anti-cop train and they're just lending credence to to that it's terrible and we have like kamala harris and elizabeth warren uh just of what a couple weeks ago in the the anniversary of the michael brown situation in mm-hmm. ferguson yep. and they're fucking tweeting out 
uh, the murder of Michael Brown. And what, it's like, wait a second, that dude wasn't murdered. It was justifiable. And every single independent autopsy and piece of evidence, even from an anti-cop Obama administration said, yep. yeah, he did nothing wrong. <laughs> so, Including our attorney general, by the way, yeah, uh, who Eric, went down there, Holder. Holder Eric yeah. Holder went down there. Um, you know, because look, the, the guy, let's call it what he did. He reached inside the cop car. Well, tried this is to grab after the, assaulting a couple of people. Yeah, right? after, after yeah. assaulting a couple of people, but just to the police officer, yeah, yeah. right? Reached inside the cop car, grabbed his gun, fired it, um, and then, you know, proceeded to get it out, out, outside the vehicle, and then he fucking charged the cop. Yeah. What, the, what, yeah. what, what, are police officers, yeah. <laughs> what, what are police officers supposed to do like these the, people? Well, that's, that's the whole thing with this Garner thing is people like, he didn't, all he was doing was, was selling these cigarettes. He didn't deserve to be, you know, choked out and killed for selling cigarettes. And it's like, it, that's like saying, like, if someone got pulled over, uh, that's like saying Timothy McVeigh shouldn't have been pulled over for a, a busted taillight, you know? <laughs> like, right, right. What? It's like, wait a second, that, that's irrelevant. Like, that guy chose to break the law. What are you supposed to do when you tell someone you're under arrest, turn around, put your hands behind your back, and you go to try to do that, and then they say no? Like, what, what's the options? Oh, well, you know what, Mr. Gunner? You are above the law. Carry on. <laughs> like, what are you supposed to do? <laughs> yeah, and you can't really tase uh, a guy that's that size, to be honest. I don't, I don't, well, you can, you, you can you but can. I don't even know that he had a taser. I don't know that they carried him at the time or yeah. that they have him. I, I know. know uh, at the time. I don't think uh, San Francisco police carry them at all anymore, right? Jesus Christ. Yeah, very Jesus. few Detroit cops have tasers. It's not like a standard thing. So, so I mean, like, not, not all departments have it. So, you know, uh, I don't know. So, Mike, let me ask you, because you've seen the video of, of this, right, with Eric Garner? Yeah. D did this police officer do everything correctly? Uh, well... He didn't do anything incorrectly. I guess that's the best way to say it. Because, I mean, I can, I can go hindsight and say, well, maybe if he tried this or maybe if he would have done this, you know. I mean, there was a massive size difference in these two dudes anyway. But um, apply, applying that, that hold is super, super effective. And it's, it's not a stranglehold. It's not meant to choke someone to death. Um, if, if anything, it just restricts blood flow. It doesn't yeah, restrict blood air, airflow. So it's... It's super common. We see it in the UFC, like a rear naked choke yep. or whatever else. Like they called it a seatbelt hold. They had already demonstrated that it was within policy. And that's another thing too, is sometimes when you apply techniques that are, you're trained on in the academy, it doesn't look pretty like it, like it's like, you know, fucking yeah, it's squad, not though, grab my wrist. No, you've my got a, wrist. yeah, you've yeah. got a struggling like assailant. That. Like yeah. fight you're going to get in. Street fights dude. are hard. You can't yeah. predict anything that's going to happen across the board. Uh, nor could you predict what was going to happen in this instance. And it's t for me, it's a tough one to put it on the police officer. Yeah, I mean, look, even in the review board, which they found him guilty of whatever the fuck the review board, NYPD's yeah. did uh, here recently. But even they said that he applied the choke and released it within seven seconds, which is the standard. Like, right. seven seconds is where things can start to go wrong. But if you hold it for seven seconds and release or below seven seconds... Medical science tells us that that's a safe, relatively safe thing to do. Obviously, in this case, it didn't work. I've been choked on consciousness more times than I can count. Really? Yeah. Well, I got choked on consciousness over a Dorito. No shit. How, yeah. what, which flavor? Well, I mean, it was like Cool Ranch. Cool Ooh. Ranch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was <laughs> sitting in, I was sitting in the back seat mm. when I was 18 with mm -hmm. a couple of my uh, Tac P buddies, and one had a bag of chips, and the other one was like, Can I have some of those chips? He goes, Yeah, if you put Taylor to sleep. And he's like, Sorry, bro, I want some chips. Yeah, out, gone. <laughs> I woke up. The other guy had the bag of chips. Cool ranch, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and that's the way the world. Hey, works. Hey, you know what? <laughs> totally I don't want to know what you'll do for a hot dog. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then, then to, to wrap this up, by the way, Mike uh, De Blasio is obviously running for president. Um, <laughs> he is way behind in the polls. Way behind. So a move like Shocker. this, yeah, yeah, a move like this, so that he can go into the next. Uh, debate and say, look what I've done for the city and aren't I an amazing human being? Seems real fucking convenient to me. Oh, sure. I mean, he, he, when, when the, it was announced that, that, that trial judge for that, like the internal discipline board had s recommended termination. I mean, de Blasio is right out the gate at a microphone saying like, finally, after five years, the justice system is working. Like, okay. Yeah. You mean the justice system wasn't working when your administration supported this law against this you know selling cigarettes without taxes and stuff that they they were enforcing like now the justice system is working uh, it doesn't make any sense it's just so fucking ass backwards yeah 
because uh, look, the city put a fifteen dollar tax on all cigarettes in New York. So if you're trying to buy a pack of cigarettes in New York, it's like twenty bucks. So Jesus. What, what what's happening is people are bringing them in cartons from other states, selling yeah. them cheaper on the corner or whatever. Obviously, that's here's, illegal. But here's what's cares? curious to me: what what's going to happen when someone's selling something illegal that liberals are against, like straws in California? <laughs> right. Yeah. Some like oh, some right. some Eric Garner guy. Why don't we is, try that? Yeah, he's yeah. like selling he's selling straws on the street. <laughs> in Los Angeles. Let's go to Los Angeles and just peddle some fucking plastic. There is a, somebody did a video where they were offering, I think, free plastic straws. Oh, yeah. So like funny. These, these liberals were like freaking out, like, you're disgusting. <laughs> like, what? Jesus by offering, offering free straws on the street. <laughs> uh, where do we go from here? Let's go where to South go Dakota. From here? Oh, why, why, do you, uh, why do you do your job, Mike? What, what do you tell people out there who want to become a police officer after reading all this fucking shit? My gosh, man. It's like, it honestly, it's becoming really, really hard. Um, it's, but you gotta, you need people who are still willing to lose their jobs. Basically. Uh, I, that's the way it comes down to it is like, that's how I view and have viewed my, my job is like, I just say, I don't care if you fire me, I'm going to go do my job. Cause I think this country needs people who are willing to go do the job. So you do it and you just, you take what comes and and if i think if we have more people with that mindset and characteristic we can push back a little bit and hopefully those people with that mindset in five to ten years are going to be the lieutenants are going to be the commissioners are going to be the people that are in charge you know hopefully you, you yeah yeah you're your right artist. you're right it, it's a it's almost a self-correction the guys that are that are that are so fed up with it now if they stick with it they that well it's like that know. it's like that stupid stupid uh, democratic socialist convention right they implode on themselves yes. they're, they're completely right. yes. self-contradictory because yeah because their, their own rules happens. don't work like right yeah so eventually we're... you will have that in a, even a bigger city like new york or la where like the homelessness problem all these other things eventually it's going to come bite them in the ass because it doesn't work it just doesn't listen work. i have i have a solution to the immigration and homeless problem what's that i think you know the we come in and we interview all the homeless and we say, hey, we're going to help. We're going to set you up with some work to do with a job. You 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 down or you not. And if they say no, you do a one for one swap with an immigrant that wants asylum or whatever and say, OK, well, this guy wants to work. You're now down in Mexico. Yeah, because immigrants are going to work. For yeah, the most part. That's what I mean. Yeah, like. like there, there's some... Then we, we solve our homeless problem and we make the immigration problem happy again. And uh, there we go. It's <laughs> a one for we... one swap. <laughs> Why don't we pay pay the homeless people to get in a caravan and go to Mexico? Oh, we should do that. Ah, that'd be great. That would be so Re funny. Re reverse immigration on yeah, them? Reverse yeah, reverse immigration. No, that not, would be funny as shit. That'd be a great one. Oh, my Take God. Take every liberal that, that's crying about... Uh, you know, kids getting separated from parents. Yeah. Deport them and then bring in the kids who are, who are separated from their parents. We'll make a trade with you. Yeah, if they mean that much <laughs> to you, maybe we can just trade you out. Yeah. Not willing. I just, I, I've, I've been looking at it so, <laughs> so closer now. And on the panhandlers in San, San Antonio, panhandlers in California recently. Like, everywhere I go, I look at them. And I look at, I look at the shoes. I look at the clothes. I look at their fingers. And I, I, these people are fucking fine. Yeah. They've got nice shoes. They got decent clothes. Their hands aren't fucking dirty, and they're standing out there with a sign. Go fucking get to work, bro. Yeah. Somebody will pay you to do something. No, it's, it's yeah. easier to do that. You know, apparently. Tom Cruise has a sunglass guy, all right? Goddamn right he does. A fucking sunglass guy that goes everywhere with him with a briefcase full of sunglasses, and he changes his <laughs> sunglasses out no less than five times a day. Yeah. So if Tom Cruise is paying a guy to be a sunglass guy, you can find something to do. Goddamn right you can. <laughs> and if anybody needs sunglasses... Five times a day, it's TC, brother. It's TC. <laughs> uh, oh, South Dakota. A, yeah. You have to be a Scientologist? Yeah, I, I, think I don't know. So. Uh, you, you do and you don't. He probably you know? the, can you imagine the fucking NDA you would have to sign to be around Tom Cruise all day? TC? Yeah. Yeah, I can't, I can't imagine. Like, it's probably 80 pages long. It's probably like the one. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got some a good one. <laughs> we got some sponsors who pay for this whole shit wagon to be on the air. Uh, do you have a ghost bed, Mike? 
I I don't. Well, if I do, I I, I haven't noticed it. Nah, you, you would need one. Sleep you need so one. good it's spooky. Yeah, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Lay down, take a little nap. Fifteen uh, percent off to anybody who's military or first responder. Mike, that's you. So you can hey. uh, you can you can head on over there and get yeah. one. Fifteen percent off for life. If yeah. your dong weighs more than a kilo and a half. The ghost bed actually cradles it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Liberals don't support uh, the, the police, but uh, ghost bed does. So go to ghostbed.com <laughs> forward slash drinking bros. Take an extra 15% off. Mattresses, pillows, adjustable bases, anything you need for a good night's sleep so that you can wake up in the morning and fight these assholes during a, a, a fucking march tomorrow. Uh, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros <laughs> as always 36 months pay as you go program no interest no one on the internet is doing that today but they are and we thank them for it next up we've got dollarshaveclub.com forward slash drinking bros a little dollar as well in front of D'Anthony's desk uh, you're going to see a ton of products here quality shit can't shave with this. the nicest in the world we took the blades off so we didn't want you to slice your yeah your you gotta, you gotta, yeah. can't be trusted Yeesh. Oh, Yeesh. fine fine uh what they're doing is is offering a, a special deal for every drinking bros listener now they're saying hey we're back we're better than ever we got the the highest quality products in the men's shaving game that you could possibly imagine so you pop in that promo code drinking bros Five dollars, dude. You get yeah. a five dollar uh, little kit, little kit, dude. You that's got you, everything. You can test out the dot. You can test out the shaving stuff. You can taste, t- uh, test out the fucking beer care products. The yep. whole nine yards. Dollar Shave Club is legit. I yeah. use it daily. Yeah. It's oh, not, do, yeah. Do fucking you, around, yeah. Man. Then yes. t- t- tell tell the audience, Mike, which w- which you get personally. I use like the little uh, scalp exfoliator and the shave butter and the razors, and that's how I keep my head so shiny. You, you got a shiny head. You, you do I'll have tell a you, head. I tell you what, you have a shinier head than fucking that dirtbag Richard High. <laughs> Who's that? He's a <laughs> fucking dirtbag. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got a less shiny head than Mike. So, I mean, Mike's much, winning Mike's much, winning the game much. there. That's right, Richard. You're a fucking D-bag. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And when I, when I, I need love to, him. When I need to knock down my swim times, I just go to the whole body. Oh yeah, oh the fulcrum. Well, look, the full fulcrum. He go full fulcrum. Yeah. So when yeah, uh, we we need to teach him about the fulcrum. Yeah. Well, Ro- Ross, anytime we go out to dinner, Ross always shaves from the sideburns down his entire body. Yep, I have to. <laughs> I have to. It's just one of those things, you know. You and don't we'll, know what the weather is going to be like. Yeah, and it's tough on the road too. Sometimes you have to shave in the restaurant, which is you know, oh yeah. It's yeah, bad for it's good for you, bad for everyone else. A lot of cleanup for the janitorial crew at yeah. Carabas on the road. Um, <laughs> Carabas. Oh, Carabas. Wait, does Carabas still exist? Ah, probably not. Yes, it does. I think <laughs> does there's really? one in the back of the yeah, city. Yeah, city it's, a, it's a place that he could be eating. Instead, he's over there wolfing at Olive Garden still. Ah, <laughs> you wait. If this book hits it, we're going Olive Garden, oh, baby. God, if we oh, hit the New York God. Times bestseller list, good. Let's uh, skip the last. Wait, add and just go to the book. Then. Let's let's go to Dollar Shave. What is it? Uh, DollarShaveClub.com forward slash Drinking Bros. Yeah. Get on it today. Uh, get all your shit. And uh, the five dollar kit's amazing. Best products in the biz. Last but not least, thank you for my service. There you uh, go. It is out. The it's a book, book is out today. It is currently. Let's just be honest. Uh, it's number five in the world right now. Damn. On Amazon. Damn. Man. Number two Damn. In, in new releases. Uh, we are very very close to number one. We have surpassed Michelle Obama. Uh, that was oh, one of our goals early golf on. Claps? Golf claps? Golf claps. Golf claps. You guys can't see me, but I'm standing up and clapping. I'm standing. He's clapping on his head, too, because it's shiny. You. <laughs> Thank you. So, with that being said, I think the New York Times bestseller list is, is probably in the bag, but now we need number one in the world. Yeah. We need number one in the world. We're four slots away from it. Uh, go to every bookstore you can. Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, we got it at today. Uh, or go to Amazon. Thank you for my service. And get it in hardback, more importantly. Uh, that is the best way to get to number one on the New York Times bestseller list. Uh, it would be a massive thing for Drinking Bros, man, uh, to, to see this happen. Uh, as we put a lot of hard work into this for three years. And uh, shit, man, it'd be, it'd be amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, I, Matt would be here today, but he was on the show earlier. He's in New York. He's on yes, Sean Hannity. He is. He so, is currently chatting it up with Sean Hannity. Sean right Hannity now. right now. So, uh, Mike, we're going to have to get you that book. So you can tell us what you think of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, heck yeah. And the audio book's out next week, Mike. So if, you're, if you, you guys are in the car and you want to listen to something fucking Who, crazy. Is, 
is Matt reading it? Oh yes, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. nice. Oh that's even better because I like that's the that's the only kind of audio book that I enjoy is the author reading. Yeah, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. So uh, it, that that will be out next week, and that is seven and a half hours worth of magic. Everybody, yes. everybody complains that the, the show is not long enough. Hey man, we went three hours. Look, we're not broken. Well, I mean, it's to shave my body, so it's perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you go full fulcrum and then put that on in the background. That's Seven and a half done hours. And you're done and done, my man. Done and done. Done and done. Next up, newswise, South Dakota mom goes to the hospital for what she thought were kidney stones. Instead, whoops, she gave birth to triplets. Happens all the time. It does, yeah. Sure. I swear to you, I know someone that this just happened to. You're kidding. Not, wow. Not triplets, though, right? Wow. Not triplets. Not triplets. Just one baby she didn't know about. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I, I could understand. I can understand that. That's was it gnarly. twins? And she and she didn't know the I other. I can't understand that. That's insane. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, if you never go to the doctor, though, you know, and you're just kind of chunking out a baby, it'd be pretty surprising if another one just popped out right behind it. A woman starts to kind of, quote unquote, show around three months usually. But if you're a bigger lady or if you don't get like some women just don't gain that much weight during a pregnancy. Yeah. So yeah. maybe well, four, she was a, maybe She was five? a bigger lady. Yeah, there it but is. But uh, her, her situation was that she had something going on with like, I don't know, liver enzymes and it was causing abdominal pain anyway. And the doctors just never checked her for, uh, never did a pregnancy test. And so yeah. she went in for severe abdominal pain. They did an ultrasound. They're like, hey, guess what? Um, you're going to deliver a baby uh, now. Well, this woman, <laughs> wow. this woman found out There's day off. There's a lot of and people out there just coming in big women, huh? Because yeah. <laughs> you think you can get away with it. You're like, ah, she's too big. She'll never get pregnant. <laughs> what? <laughs> Boom, you got reach. triplets. Yeah. I don't <laughs> think that's how it works. That's uh, science. It's I don't a, have time to teach you. I don't even you. know if I'm in, but, you know, it feels good. So. No, sperm, nah. are, sperm are alive. They swim. Okay. So, uh, sure. <laughs> there Look, we go. Tomato, tomato on that one. Like, you know. <laughs> Uh, I don't have to believe you. So I this, mean, I would love Dan to walk around wearing a I come in big women shirt. I will, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I, I do. I don't pull out, and I don't wear condoms. So. No. Uh, AIDS is also a myth created by the government. And if you're rich enough, you can beat it. Even if AIDS is real, it can't stop me. No, no, no definitely way. not. We, we've passed that mark. I'm not 25 years old anymore. Yeah, exactly. Mike, have you ever worked to, like, been on a shift, and, and this, this has happened to you where somebody gave birth on accident? No, not not when working at all. Not really. At all. I've seen Wait. babies born, but not not on accident. <laughs> like your kids or just random babies? Any babies? No. Oh, mother- really? No. Have you had to deliver one? No, I've never had to be the one delivering. I've I've seen it happening with like paramedics on scene, not not me having to do it. Do you like cheer the mom on, or what, what's your role as a police officer? In yeah, that? as soon as they start crowning, what do you do? Uh, uh you know, I just kind of walk out and light up a cigar and <laughs> just now, look away. See, you're a, this is a, <laughs> this is America, and you're armed. I would just be firing my gun into the air to let that baby know what yeah. fucking country it's being born into. Yes, yes. <laughs> like point point it's to the either flag America on your shoulder or Iraq. Yeah, point. <laughs> <laughs> Point to the flag on your shoulder. Yeah. Start singing Detroit Rock City and just blast your fucking weapon up into the air. Oh, start man. blaring Kid Rock. Oh, up there. Right. American badass. Yeah. Uh, What's s- this other one here? Speaking <laughs> about being born in this yeah. country, uh, yeah. Rashida, your girl, Talib, uh, yeah. and uh, Ilhan Omar, banned from Israel. Here's the funniest thing about Good. this. So they're whining about this they're whole thing. Anyway. And they want to they launch a congressional investigation into Trump and, his, uh, and the uh, ambassador to Israel's role in this whole Wait, thing. Wait, what? Yeah. 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 They, they, so they're like, yeah, I think we're going to they're like threatening. Quote, they're literally threatening to investigate a government person because another foreign person told them not to come to their country after they signed on to this organization that boycotts Israel entirely. Their, yeah. All their business assets, all their fucking their entire government. Look. That's a complicated situation over there, but if your stance is to boycott the whole country, they have, have every right to say, fuck you, you're not coming into yeah, my country. Yeah, but you know what? Country. I really wish the American public would fire back with, no, we're not wasting our money on that. That should be, that should be the fucking answer every time. No, we're not wasting our money on that. You two fucking talk a bunch of shit all the time. A country doesn't want you in there. End of story. Shut the fuck up. Move on. Work on your fucking district. How about that? Yeah, that's I what agree. you were fucking elected for. Shut the fuck up. To leave, she was never even gonna go there. They said, "Okay, you can come see your grandma," and they, and then she says, "No, unless yeah. I can do everything that I want, I'm not coming." So it's like, was it ever really about going to see your grandma? No, <laughs> no, so. it never is. Yeah, she applied for a visa to go see her grandma, and they and and she was like, "I want to also do X, Y, and Z, which includes meet with Palestinian leaders and all this other bullshit." And they were like, "No." 
And yeah. she's like, oh, I'm not going at all then. And they're like, good. So Trump tweeted out, you know who's the real winner here is Tlaib's grandmother, who doesn't have to see her. <laughs> no way. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my Savage. God. <laughs> it's fucking funny. <laughs> it's a little rude. Little rude, and yeah. he's the president of the United States, so it's kind of weird, but it's fucking funny. Yeah, yeah it's really funny. Well, he, did, he just freed ASAP Rocky over in Sweden. Yeah, so, so he's got it going he's on. He's fine. Good for him. He's fine. Um, let me ask you, uh, being in Michigan, do people, is the news up there, do they give a fuck about her the way the rest of the national media seems to keep grasping on to this woman, Mike? No, I mean, like, you've got that whole, all, all the news whether it's Fox or CBS affiliate or NBC, whatever it is, they all have the, the same talking points here as they do in any other city in the country. So it's all, it's all the same. It does. It's, there's no extra attention to them or whatever else, you know, doesn't, doesn't get any different. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah Cause I, I always wondered that cause we went through it in uh, 2016 here with uh, the governor in the trans bathroom situation yeah. with Roy Cooper in North Carolina. And I was surprised that they, the, the local news gave it a decent amount of coverage, uh, more geared towards the national media. And I was like, eh, I don't, I don't know that people are really talking about that inside the state. And I was no. curious if it was yours, yeah. but yeah. Uh, nah, it's all the same. Ooh. Uh, makes sense. Uh, next up, a group calling themselves the Chicago <laughs> Teachers Union, hint, they're not, uh, <laughs> have sparked outrage by traveling to Venezuela and praising the government of Maduro. So um, they're, they're, I think they're members of the CTU. Which I, I don't know. It's an AFL CIO uh, organization, so it's it's a union for sure. But they're members of it, but they're not official representatives of the union. They're just four dickholes. They went down to Venezuela, and now they're part of like uh, propaganda media for the Venezuelan government. They are the modern day Jane Fonda. Like they went down there to this brutal regime where people are getting whacked out for no reason all the time, right? In a failing socialist country, and. Like, oh, it's good, man. And started praising the policies of this guy. Like, you fucking kidding me, dude. Jesus. Why don't you just go sit on an AA gun like Jane Fonda and get your fucking picture taken? Like, come on. Yeah. That's so stupid. Yeah, I, this one's an odd one to me. Uh, why would you want to do this, first of all? I have no idea. I mean, it's all, it's, it's every, just dumb everybody's people. a fucking dumb special people. snowflake yeah. now. Yeah. So it's they attention. Think, they want it, attention. It's no different yeah. than people that believe in uh, the flat earthers. Yeah, it's no yeah. different. People want to believe they have special access to information. And socialism is one. It's this idea that is, it's, kind, there's, it's hedged because you can always use the phrase, well, it's never actually been done correctly. It's never worked right. It's right. Never like, been it's never right. been done correctly. Like, no, it's been, it's the natural result of it being tried is despotism. That's how it works. You give all the power to the government. What the fuck do you think is going to happen, bitch? Yeah. That's why we have guns. That's why we're not Hong Kong. So fuck off. <laughs> so what, what are the chances of them coming back alive? I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, I don't. Yeah. They can get fucked. This is not my fuck get em. fucked of the week, but they can get fucked. You know what? Those four are out. We should take four, four immigrants. Like, let's just lock them out there and then just take four immigrants that want to get to work. Look, if here, here's, here's what I, I keep, I think we should keep doing these one for one swaps. I yeah, agree. I, I actually, too. I don't, I don't. Alyssa Milano, number one on the list. Gone. Hey. Oh, yeah. we'll take somebody that wants to fucking work. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. This, this isn't a direct parallel or, or uh, applicable to the Logan Act, which is no, no citizen in the United States can go negotiate with a foreign leader of another country without express permission of Major League Base. Wait, the president of the United States? Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> but uh, so you can be tried for the Logan Act for stuff, not necessarily like this, but close. I think we should expand that. And if you go over on some kind of appeasement tour as a private citizen of the United States, praising people that are fucking brutal dictators then you you live there now i'm just gonna point out we revoke your fucking passport and dennis you rodman now. definitely built our relationship with north korea yeah yeah because he went over there <laughs> he started it he went over he there did. and dunked on kim jong-il back in the day. Yeah. he just like vicious dunk yeah i think we have video you know we don't yeah, have no, we, don't. We, de we definitely don't have oh, video oh Did i love this next wait, one though. Hey, hang on oh. do you know the funny thing about the dennis rodman thing real quick to, to cap that off is the reason why he loves American basketball so much is his dad was diehard into Michael Jordan. Oh, shit. That's so funny. Uh, originally, uh, when they had tried to get them over, uh, just in, in Amer any American president over there, his father had said, if you're going to come over here, I have, I have one request that you bring Michael Jordan with you. <laughs> um, and that obviously didn't happen, right? Yeah. With this one. You know, Rodman played on the Bulls with Jordan and all yeah, that yeah. other shit. And he's he, like, hey, I'll come. Yeah. And he, so okay. he's like, who can I get from the Bulls? Ah, 
Dude, Rodman's around. He'll yeah, come he's over second here. best. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, Steve Kerr was uh, coaching at the time, so yeah. he wasn't able to make it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He was busy. Uh, he was busy at the moment. Now we're getting to the real news. Yeah, yeah this is the are. real news the here. This is the real news, news I like. Sex robots with full AI hit market capable of replacing human intimacy. I, I believe it. Oh, yeah. So this company, AI, AI Tech. Well, you, 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 you missed a comma there. It's sex robots with full hey, AI hit market capable of replacing human yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. so they're on the market yeah, yeah. they're on the yeah. market now they're yeah. out there so the, uh, the whitney co- cummings had one in her show oh yeah, yeah. it's crazy yeah. as fuck yeah. i think I Ro- rogan that. posted about it a couple of times so the tech company says that it's flagship model which they're calling emma i don't know why i'm sure it's probably mm. an acronym or yeah, something like E-M-M-A, that yeah. um can hold interactive conversation and answer questions in a way tailored to its owner Ah, I don't know if you like do a survey and send the uh, information over, and then they call you back. Are they 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 program it that way, or if it learns, if it learns, we're fucked. Yeah, because if, if, if yeah, if it learns, we're all. Because here's what's gonna happen: you're gonna be getting your dick sucked, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden, uh, somebody's gonna type something in on, or Alexa's gonna hear something or some shit. They're There's all ro- gonna start coercing. The robot's yeah. gonna rip your dick off and just go outside and start murdering people. Oh, a hundred percent. Sounds like a Black Mirror episode. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's what it's exactly. Gonna become. That's what life has become. Mike, are you married? Yeah. Okay. Would your wife let you fuck a robot? Yeah, that's an interesting conversation that we've never had. But uh, get her gonna, on. Dude, Wake I, her up and I'm get her on do, the show. I'm gonna, do, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bring that up tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Family dinner. <laughs> uh, yeah, we we've actually had that on this this show before. Uh, Je- Jesse was on. My wife. Yeah. And uh, wife. she said, uh, "My wife." She said, robot's not cheating if you get to watch it. Because we wanted a Benicio Del Toro robot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For rim fine. jobs and rim jobs only. It's Omar. fine. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. but that, that one. You be allowed so to So, like, you got to be like the, the dude in the closet watching yeah. the Benicio robot. Is no, that the deal? He's I, just I, tongue I can in her be butt. in there. Yeah, he's just tongue in her butt. He's just giving her rim It's job. like those, would, those Japanese vending machines where you can just go put your ass on it and somebody licks your butthole from underneath. Yeah. I, you know, I would <laughs> wish that I kept getting caught, like, sneaking real girls in, claiming they were the robot. This one's not wrong. It is. It is. Remember, she starts character. doing. She starts I'm her whole character. She starts She's doing, doing the robot, robot dance out of the fucking. <laughs> like, I told you you could fuck the robot, not these randoms you keep bringing in. I'm like, this is a robot. Come on, stay in character. Stay in character. <laughs> we bought one on the show. We bought a what we thought. We bought was, a discount one. Well, here, here's the thing. At the time. That was one of the most realistic robots where there was. Where is that? Did Edwin capture that? I thing? don't know where it is. You don't know. <laughs> yeah. There's a, can we put an APB we out on that saw sex it in robot? Someone's yeah. car. So That's last all I time know. I yeah. saw it, it was seat belted in a passenger seat of someone's car. We've never seen it again. It was yep. Edwin who is a fucking creep, and he's been driving around with that thing for months. Wow, <laughs> he's probably been fucking it for months too. Uh, let me ask you this, Jared, because that when we bought that, that was kind of the top of the line at that time. That, that wasn't not, top of the line, but no. that was discount. But but at the time, right? The, no, 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 no. The advancement of the, real yeah, dolls, these fucking things real now. Real dolls are like averaging fifteen thousand. We got the eleven hundred dollar version. No, no the, the, so ours was about two grand, right? Yeah, yeah. So the fifteen thousand dollar one year, and it was a Black Friday special. Yes, it was. <laughs> but that was Thanksgiving. But so, it was a, it was a white girl though. Yeah, it was, a, it was a white girl. We're nine months later, and look at how fast oh, it's oh, yeah. advanced. There's a, she just there's nine a market, dude. So you're Fuck, saying it's you know, the shit out of me. You it's know, been like, nine months. Um, yeah. Do you the, think she's pregnant somewhere? The Probably. marriage rate in the United States for young males, like like 18 to 26, is plummeting because now they're like, why the fuck do I want to do that? Well, they probably can't afford to get married either because they have $100,000 yeah, in student loan debt. Yeah. But, but like it's just destroying, and this is just going to drive it even more. It's the same in Japan, and eventually. By the way. Females are going to have to like really step their game up. If evolution if you're is try true, and get yourself. This could be really good for some of us with good personalities. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Because if if girls are competing with sex robots now, fuck. Yeah. If if evolution is true, then women soon will start to develop more aggressive sexual behavior because yes. men are becoming betas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This like is good for it, it'll This is good for us. Yeah. Well, it, it's good for us insofar as we I mean, get it's kind of like lot. going to school at Arizona State, where the ratio is eighteen to one, yeah. eighteen I females know. to one male. And, and so they're all competing. Exactly. But now, when the males start disappearing because they have their robots, this is good news. I think uh, yeah. Futurama I'm, actually I'm did an it. episode on I'm this. I'm for it. Well, I'm I, all for it. I remember going to uh, there was a college called University of Miami, Ohio. And oh the, yeah, the that's ratio- where Ben Roethlisberger went to school. Yeah, yeah. So the the ratio was eight to one girls to guys. I, I went to a party like on campus, like a like a fraternity party. I saw some of the hottest women, 
being treated like shit by the ugliest guys because there were so many fucking girls. It, it didn't matter to them. And they were like, this is going to be it forever. And it was like, no, it's going to last for four years. And then you're, you're going to have to get over your shit because the rest of the yeah. world is not like this. With this robot thing, is it going to be a similar sitch? They're only going to get more impressive. Yeah, the robots, And more, right? more tailored to you specifically. Like, you wear, or, or you give them access to your Alexa or your fucking, or your, uh, uh, what's it called, Siri or whatever the fuck, mm -hmm. and they build a personality profile specifically for you for over the course of four years, and you get your sex robot shows up, and it is made to serve you. Yeah, but what if you, like, come home, and you have a new couch, and you're like, hey, what the fuck? And she's like, I ordered a new couch. I didn't like the old color. You're like, god damn it. The yeah. robot's fucked now. I know. <laughs> That's Spending gonna... the goddamn money by talking to Alexa. You and Alexa, break it up. Break it up. Yeah. No more. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be the fucking worst. Mike, do you have Alexa? Because I, I don't. I don't. I don't have it because I don't trust it. I don't have an Alexa. I do not because of the same exact reason. I already get freaked out when my phone. Like I'll, I'll be watching something on TV and I'll be like, I wonder how old you know, like fucking Alec Baldwin is. And I go, how old? And it says, how old is Alec Baldwin? I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, you guys are living in a fantasy world because, uh, first of all, Samsung's already been sued for having active listening going on on their Correct. televisions. Yep. And if you don't think that the phone and everything, every other device that's around you 24 hours a day is already listening, those days are gone. You, know you can't do can anything listen. about I mean, it now. It's just whoever's on those headphones is like wide-eyed and has PTSD. Oh, Alexa's already from listening to Alexa, fucking me. Alexa's yeah. been dealing with that He's lately. Like, so that guy has counseling. So oh, like, yeah. Alexa's fucking uh, their speakers have been turning on during sex for people. And Correct. Like yeah. the people that are back at the the stations have to listen to a certain amount of it to verify if it's something weird or if it's like something they need to address or a bug or whatever the case is. Mm -hmm. And now you have to go opt out. Like you have to go on to your fucking device registration and say, I don't want them listening to me bang. I don't, I, I'm fine with them. But listening. I would, is there, yeah. is there yeah, somewhere to check? It. Like I want someone. I want to get a little bit more creative. I with want the feedback. I, say, I think from yeah. the listening feedback. Yeah. Hey, Hey, can you guys move it a little closer? I can't hear good enough. And that would be kind of cool. If you're a perverted yeah. hot yeah, girl, yeah, yeah, yeah. you pound off to this later. I want a video. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I yeah. feel like that's reasonable. I, what I, I, position should we be in? Oh, try doggy. All right. Yeah, try, try reverse cowboy. <laughs> oh, can you imagine that? Alexa comes on. Hi, have you tried doggy? Like, yeah. oh, shit. Hey, Alexa. <laughs> we haven't done doggy in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Oh. Did oh. you have sex last night, Jared? Absolutely. And do you, did you go doggy? What was your, what was your whole... The second uh, round. Second okay, round. Okay, second round, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. First round, you just kind of did a little, lot of rolling. A lot of rolling yeah, around Yeah, a lot of rolling. Yeah. A lot of rolling. A lot of rolling around you. And then, Will, uh, did doggy. you go reverse yeah. cowboy at all? No, I have not. I have not pulled out the reverse cowboy yet. Okay, cool. So does she even have her, a strap on? Yeah, we're going to get her a strap on oh, right after God, this and then have you go it. on top. Oh, no. What? It's welcome to North Carolina. Yeah, it's reverse no. cowboy it, time. It's 2019. It's a sphere. Everything gets fucked. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. It's good. Speaking, having you here. Speaking yes. of getting fucked, this is my get fucked of the week. Oh, uh, all right. Fire away. So yeah. two uh, uh, West Virginia teacher and two aides were uh, arrested after alleged abuse was caught on secret recording. So this mom, I'm a nonverbal autistic kid, little girl, uh -huh. uh, thought her kid was being abused. She saw like bruises on her arms and shit that looked like somebody was grabbing her and dragging her around. So she put a listening device in her backpack or on her clothes or some shit. Mm. And uh, when she got the recording back, she was shocked to hear that they were threatening to like slap the kid. And the these are like little autistic kids, slap her in the face or abuse her in other food. ways, withhold food and all kinds of other bullshit. Jesus Christ! Like it's too bad that there's no hell because I really would like these people to go there and suffer for the rest of their goddamn lives. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, I because mean, as, as a kid, this why sticks with you we, forever too. Why? Why did we? Why did we get soft as a culture? I mean, this type of shit right here. You put them in the middle of the city. You break both their legs with a yeah. fucking sledgehammer, and they have to lay, they have to they they have to just sit there for fucking all day long. Yeah, just hobble. and it's like yeah, and it's like okay, five hours. You got your yeah, you got your legs broke. You are uh, you you got your punishment. You do you have kids, Mike? I sure do. How many kids do you have? I got four. Two still still at home and two out of the house and doing their own things. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, you, you ever gone through shit like this at school with uh, bullying or anything else like that? You ever been called in? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you said that with laughter, which I like. What, what happened? Yeah. No, the, the only thing that, I mean, from a parent perspective, like one time they try to play a prank. I mean, my wife called with my kids and said, like, one of my kids got suspended from school because he got in a fight. And I, I have the recording somewhere. And? My first question was, did he win? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and? Like, yeah. 
That's it. That's it. Sorry, like, people okay, fight. I, I, people fight. I don't care about the rest of it. it yeah, if you take that out of uh, the social sphere, if people don't engage in some kind of conflict resolution, and fighting is conflict resolution, yeah. mm-hmm. then Dude, p- pent so up shit happens, and then fucking need mass to be punched in the face. Yes, they do. Yeah, they yeah. do. They need. They, they need it. That is that is like one of the first things I always ask as a training officer in the car with a new guy would be like, "Have you ever been punched in the face?" And if they said no, I'd be like, "All right, well, that's the goal for today. I take them right to the to the shitbag motel and I pick a fight with somebody." <laughs> really? <laughs> there we go. No shit. Heck yeah, I gotta get him in a fight, man. Yeah, you, you have to. You, literally, you have to. You literally cannot do this job without if you've being never, able yeah, to know what never. it's like. Yeah, if you've never been in a fight, wow! So like, you, go you old need the confidence. training. He goes training yeah. day on hey, it, dude. Hey, it's what you got to do, you know. Yeah. So, do yep. you smoke a lot of PCP before you do that, or Primo P Dog, yeah. Sherman uh, Hemsley? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if that's available out of the evidence yeah. locker, yes. <laughs> What's this last one here you got here? What is this? Uh, uh, this so, uh, yeah. uh, this is uh, this is the madam. How do you I, pronounce her name? Because I see Danthony with her. At some point. Maxwell. Yeah. Uh, so this is Epstein's madam, the woman that was running all the fucking kitty bullshit with him mm-hmm. and all the other everybody that was above age she was running too but she was involved in everything the fucking she was in chelsea clinton's sex, wedding as well sex, sex island yeah she yep. was at chelsea clinton's wedding uh that we all saw this in and out photo of her in la mm-hmm. this past week she staged it with her attorney in yep. fact the dog in the picture is her attorney's dog She's definitely there trying to sell a book. It's almost as if somebody called this three episodes ago. Yeah. I can't, I can't put my finger on who it might be. Rostradamus. I think dude. it was Jesse. Yeah. No, you know? it was me. Uh, mm-hmm. As soon as I saw this, because uh, again, you're in Santa Monica. Yeah. You're right around the studios. You're right oh, around yeah. everything. Like yeah. this is book deal. This is movie deal. Um, like if you drive around LA during Oscar season, you see billboards everywhere for for stuff like that. So there's yeah. a lot of local advertising that happens there. Yeah. Because all the voters live there. And so, so. How, how they caught her was uh, there was another picture from somebody else who happened to be there that day. Uh, there was two cups on the table instead of one. They photoshopped in uh, Good Boys actually, the movie poster yeah. on a on a bus stop behind yeah. them. Uh, I mean, it was a fully staged thing. The only thing that I can't figure out is the book then. What is it? Uh, it was the CIA book that she was reading. Why oh, yeah, read yeah, yeah. that yeah, particular yeah. book for a staged photo? It's probably, well, I don't know. I mean, as, as much detail as they went into, it seems unlikely that there wasn't some kind of plot behind that. Like they used it for messaging purposes, maybe. I don't know. I agree, but but what is it? Because um, <clears throat> that book was trending for a little bit for a while. It was the CIA, like how to be, you know, operative and fucking secretive. Maybe whatever. maybe it's a book from the publisher of the that they're trying to work with. Oh, you know what book mm. it should have been though was. <laughs> Thank you oh, for yes. my service. Can you ima- can you imagine if she had been holding this book? Somebody out there in, <laughs> Oh boy. Somebody out there in Drinker Bros land find this picture of Maxwell at the in and out and photoshop Matt's book into it. <laughs> oh, that would That'd be, be great. Awesome. We'll, we'll post, post it on, that on DBIG. Uh, yeah. yeah, so oh, by the way, yeah. the guy the person who gave the New York Post the picture was actually her attorney as well. Was it really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, you got to be kidding me. Oh, man. How much longer is like, actually, you know what? Fuck that. Mike, what happened to Epstein? Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's, now that we got a cop on the show, what, yeah. you know, now that we got what, a cop, what happened in my, that cell? I, you know, again, uh, just opinion, not there, but you know what I think happened? I think what happened is he was given the opportunity to uh, do a samurai Clinton side. Yeah. Like, Here's, the, here's what you need. We're going to take care of everything else. Just kind of like, here's what you need to do it. We're going to look away and trust us. You never want to get out of here alive. So, you know, sign your will two days before this, of course. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, that, you that know, came out and take care too. of it. Oh, yeah, that, it, I, that did. I'm yeah, sorry, I two, didn't know that. Actually. Two days prior to him committing suicide, he signed a new will. Wow. Yeah. Who, who was it? Who, who did he leave a shit to? You know? I don't know. I don't think I, I didn't see that. I saw that uh, information came out today too, but yeah. it doesn't doesn't give the the contents of it or whatever. But God, yeah, it's interesting. I, so I think I think he killed himself, but I think he was basically pushed into the situation where you know what you're going to do, you're going to kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's how I, I think it was. Like. I'm going to be honest. That's where I'm leaning to after yeah. I, after all these facts keep coming out. That's where I lean to as well. But outside of his cell, there's got to be a camera, right, Mike? Well, it I mean, it could off, have been, it, yes. it could have been, it could have been self too. Like, I mean, but I mean, that would mean that he has some sort of honor and stuff like that. Like if, if we had some elaborate secrets and I got rolled up, I mean, I would, 
I would just do it just for you guys. You know, hey, hey don't worry, I got it. Uh, yeah. I got rolled up. See yeah. you later. I, I, I would too. <laughs> That's the like serious yeah. depths of the bro code right there. Yeah, but do you think a guy that fucks children has honor? No, not at all. Not so, at all. I, I mean, think he, somebody had to tell him. Like he was already. Like, he, he but was, also, you're a billionaire, so you have an invincibility complex. Yeah. Everybody's yeah, always been a servant to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now you're tell, you're being told, hey, you're not going to live anymore. I yeah. mean, there was probably four days of 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 just full breakdown, which I would have loved to have seen. Right. I I would have loved to seen that guy crumble. Yeah. And then just laugh. The yeah. Whole time. If somebody just fucking giggle. did like a time lapse video of his last two days. Oh, man. No, I just want to, I want to egg him on. Like, uh, like, yeah, man, this is great. I can't wait. I'm, I just, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get a bigger clock for in here, actually. So you can yeah. see, <laughs> you can see the time just ticking down. Yeah. I brother. feel like they should have put him, they should have put him in stocks, like old school stocks yeah. with a feeding tube uh-huh. and yeah. keep him alive indefinitely while people just rape him. Yeah. Constantly. That would have been dope. Because look, I don't know why we're that sounds creative. harsh, but this dude. Dude fucking fucked children, yeah. and he he facilitated like at some other point, people fucking yeah. children. Like yeah. fuck this him, is, man. This is my problem. Like in American culture, at some point we were like, "Hey, hanging's not cool enough. Let's build an electric chair." And then we stopped, and it was like, <laughs> "No, with, I have more ideas." Yeah. <laughs> I always like, I like the idea of firing someone out of a cannon into, <laughs> into a brick, a brick wall, wall. Yeah. or yeah. you know, uh, an industrial sized you know, wood chipper that you just you feet first. Like you Fargo, know, everybody yeah. goes feet first. No, like that, that one's too small. Fargo. Oh, you need a, a bigger one. Yeah, yeah. you go because you, you don't want to get caught pushing yeah, the feet body first. Yeah. Like uh, yeah. everything. Like there's there's a number of things that we can do that would be great. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, there's this amendment about cruel and unusual punishment oh, in our Constitution. Man. Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> uh, fuck that. Yeah, with, with, with the Epstein sits, the only reason I want that footage of whoever the last one was in there yeah. or, or gave him the word, I want to get that guy in an interview because it's got to be probably one of the guards, right? They don't let the lawyers back there. Well, no, he was meeting with, like, he, he had that fucking uh, attorney meeting room for eight hours a day, pretty much every day. He, he did, but uh, at, at the nighttime, right? So yeah. somewhere between that document dump at midnight to mm-hmm. 6.30 in the morning whenever he fucking killed himself, somebody had to come to the door and say, hey, man, we're going to give you the next six hours to figure this out. Well, the window that they it? weren't, that the guards didn't check on him, I think was 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. Okay. Or it's uh, 3.30 to 6.30 a.m. Gotcha. So it could have happened any time during Does that. this close the investigation? No, I mean, no. technically it doesn't. It depends on... Honestly, it depends on whether or not Trump and is, is implicated. Any, yeah, is anybody, is any agency going, hey, this doesn't seem right? Attorney General Barr is looking into what he says. That he's Barr like, demoted the, uh, the head of the prison, the prison system, system in yeah. New Correct, York yeah. or whatever. He demoted him. And are then, you serious? I think he got fired, yeah. actually, didn't he? Yeah, and, and the, uh, uh, they, they the they two guards are gone. Oh, yeah. The two guards are on leave or something like that. <laughs> uh, All three of those people will be dead in a week. Oh, easily. How is this Maxwell woman still alive? I don't know. She's got to know shit. She knows everything. She she has to know everything. And how is she not these in jail? I, I they haven't charged her yet as as one. But why? What are they waiting for? They're waiting yeah. for somebody to kill her. Like what are they? Are they? they were, no, they were waiting for Epstein to kill himself. So that they that was part of the deal, man. I'm not a. I can't yeah. go too far down the conspiracy theory, but I mean, give me a break. I mean, it's it's got to be like, listen, you've got to be out of the picture, and if you are, you know. This is the result. You're right, though. And I bet you those guards think that they probably got a pretty penny, and they're like, ha, 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 this was awesome. I'm so lucky. But no, they're next on the chopping block. Yeah. Yeah, and then the other thing, too, I remember with the Heidi Fleiss thing, when she eventually gave up everybody and told everybody what was going on, what's to stop this woman from doing the same fucking At thing? At some point, yeah. There's got to be there's got to be a number for I it. I mean, if they were willing to coerce Epstein into killing himself, she's gone. Yeah. Either by her choice or theirs. So. Yeah. And the guards probably as well. Anybody that had anything to do with it is going to get killed. Yeah, man. So either way, uh, surprise, she's still alive. Who is your get fucked of the week, Dan? Uh, well, I mean, I wanted it to be the teachers union dum-dums going to Venezuela. But okay. I got to say abusing the autistic kid is probably on the list there, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, they're co-get fucked of the week. Yeah, that's um, good. What, what, but what about this? Steve King? Yeah, uh, just who? to follow up on last week's get fucked of the week, Steve King, that idiot. Uh-huh. Who is this? He's a congressman. Oh, okay. Uh, 
he he held on to if you guys haven't listened to last week's episode go ahead and listen to it you'll see what i'm talking about uh but anyways he held a town hall this week and only one person showed up <laughs> like, <laughs> people just don't give a shit about this dumb racist i think there was only anymore. one person that wasn't paid to be there so <laughs> yeah yeah exactly yeah. like seriously he's he's just a fucking total turd he's been stripped of all of his uh committee assignments and everything and he's just kind of hanging out oh yeah, just like a hot turd in the wind. Dude. Yeah, wow. yeah, a hot and long in the wind. Mike, hot and long. Michael, the 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 badge Bench holder. Officer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mike, thanks for being here, man. Where can everybody find you on social media? Hey, man, uh, Mike the Cop TV. That's a good starting point. Just the website, and then anywhere if you look up Mike the Cop. Fantastic, yeah, on Instagram. Oh, uh, Mike the Cop. Thanks for joining us You're today. Best, we ne- we needed a cop on the show today to cut through this bullshit. We loved you. We love you. I love you guys. For love. Jared Taylor, D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway, I am Ross Patterson. We are the Drinking Bros. Good night, everyone. <laughs>